A uh, train and toy store in the historic district of Medina Square might be closing up shop. The owner, who's been there for more than 30 years, was served an eviction notice in February. But he tells News 5's Jesse Schultz he's going to fight to keep his store open and the engine running. Businesses here on the Medina Square have come and gone throughout the years, but this one, Ormandy's Trains and Toys, has remained throughout all of the changes. Now, 100% of the storefronts here are filled, making this spot prime real estate location. But the owner of the shop says his landlord has upped his rent to more than he can afford. There's only eight of them built. John Ormandy was lucky. He met his first love at four years old. And even then, I liked the trains. Everybody collects something. After settling in Northeast Ohio from Hungary, the wheels started turning to turn that hobby into a business. And I always wanted a, a train store. 31 years ago, he opened Ormandy's Trains and Toys on Medina Square. And for decades, it has stayed right on track. <laughs> Why is any child is enchanted with a train? Everybody wants to see the trains. When they come in, they want to see the trains running. There's something about that. A collection of thousands of diverse toys that garners attention from diverse places. They do call from all over the country. But in February, Ormandy's dream came to an abrupt halt. The children of the owner, they want me out. He was served an eviction notice because he was struggling to make rent. He says his landlord upped the price from 1200 a month to about 2700 This store is not a money maker. I mean, you can get rich, but they, they raised my rent to such an extent that I couldn't live with. Kimberly Marshall, the economic development director for the city, says they don't want to see him go. It's a unique and it's a niche item that probably most communities don't have. And while the city has no control over rent rates, she knows his spot will be snatched up fast. That definitely is a prime space, and there probably will be people fighting over it to get in there. But Ormandy still has steam left in his engine and says he'll keep fighting for his first love. I don't want to move. I'm 84 years old, but I'm in good health, so I still have a lot of time left. Ormandy is currently in a legal battle with the owner of this property who lives out of state. I reached out to the attorney of that owner for a comment, but have yet to hear back. Last week, a magistrate ruled that the eviction still stands. Ormandy's legal team has 14 days to appeal. Reporting in Medina, Jesse Schultz, News 5.